We're back in the utility, which means we're doing a DIY today. I hope the thumbnail looks good. I have to say that in every DIY or bake that I do because at this current moment in time, you have seen the end product before me. But yeah, so today, as you saw by the thumbnail and the title, I am going to attempt to make the teacup from Trelawney's class, obviously Harry's teacup with the Grimm. So I've actually had this for a while. Um, it took me a while to find a teacup and saucer. I didn't think it would be that hard to find, but I found one in the end, but it's been stuck in the cupboard ever since. And I thought, you know what, we're gonna give it a go. So we've got a teacup and saucer. We've got some clear glue. And in this little pot, I, it's a really dirty pot, it's a paint, I'm sorry. Um, I cut a tea bag and there's the tea leaves. So that is what we're gonna use, but also, what I want to try and do is as well, is I want to create inside the uh, the illusion that there's just tea dregs of tea in there as well. So, you know, like a, a light brown tea liquid. You know what I mean? But yeah, I completely wing DIYs. If you see my other DIYs, I completely wing them. I say it in every one. I do. I wing them. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to give it a go. So if you want to see how I made this divination teacup, obviously... If you are seeing this video, I don't think it turned out too bad. But if you'd like to see how it's done and how I do this, how I wing this, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you would like to become a Potter Poppet with us, please click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. All my social medias are linked in the description of this video. Go see what I'm up to on those. And guys, I am trying my hardest to get to my next big milestone of 2,000 subscribers. So I'd really, really appreciate if you considered hitting that subscribe button. And also I would like to give a massive thank you to my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. If you'd like to know any more about Patreon, that's also linked in the description of this video. Go check it out if you think it's for you. Then come join us. Let's make another DIY. Can we just take a moment to appreciate my little necklace? We all know what this is referencing. I made it. I do have one on my shop if anyone is interested. Poppets Emporium. It is linked. The uh, Instagram shop and Facebook shop are linked in the description of this video. Go have a look at my magical jewelry. Let's get on with this. Okay, guys, I have got my cup, my tea leaves, my little brush, and I also have a reference photo up there on my computer just so that I can sort of copy the image done in tea leaves. I've never drawn a picture in tea leaves, have, have you guys? I don't know how well this is going to go. But I'm just going to go get another little pot because I kind of want to... Oh, my lord, we nearly didn't have a cup for divination there. So yeah, I want to get a little pot to put some of this glue in because I kind of want to dab glue and dab in the tea leaves. I don't want to pour anything because I've got to try and draw. Oh my gosh, I wing these so bad. But yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, so I've got my tea leaves, my cup, and now I have a little bottle cap with some glue in. Right, I am going to now attempt this. I will speed the process up, and I'm sorry if I get in the way, but I'm really going to have to concentrate on this. And it's so hard doing DIYs when you're having to concentrate on what you're doing and concentrate on the camera as well. Make sure you're not getting in the way, make sure everything's in focus. It can be really hard. So I am really sorry, but I'm going to have to concentrate so bad. But yeah, enjoy the process of this and then I'll, uh, we'll talk about it at the end. I'm not gonna lie this has actually turned out pretty cool I really really like it it just looks like he's got a bit of a tail there and I don't like that let me just moosh that together there we go 
this was actually pretty hard obviously you wouldn't have seen the struggles because i fast forwarded fast forwarded made it faster you know what i mean but the um i was dipping it in glue then in there and it wasn't going to the cup i don't know if you did notice or not i ain't got a clue until i edit whether you notice it in fast speed but um yeah it's quite tough to do but i soon got the uh the, the hang of it the hang of it but that's looking really really cool like i said i kind of want to um put so it looks like there's tea dregs in the bottom do you know what i mean the, the liquid so i am gonna let this dry and then i'll be back with you and while it's drying i'll try and figure out what i want to do i might actually soak a tea bag and maybe add a bit of that tea water in with some of this clear glue and put it in that way but We'll, we'll, uh, we'll sort that out when we get to it, but yeah, I'll see you when this dries. Okay, guys, so I've got a new bottle cap because I couldn't get the tea leaves out because I don't want any more tea leaves. In my Ravenclaw mug, I have got some tea. Um, Let's pour a bit of this glue in. And let's just hope that this kind of works. Oh, my gosh. Now, I don't know what to do here. I don't know if to just dip in. No, that's not going to work. Oh my gosh, am I going to have to pour some tea in? I'm going to make a mess. My, my hand's shaking. I'm going to burn myself. Ah! No, we've done it. We've done it. I've got tea everywhere, but we've done it. We've done it. I'll give it a mix. I'll probably put a bit more glue in, actually. Put a bit more glue in. So, my hand's shaking! <laughs> right. Has this worked? We're going to soon find out. I just want, like, a pale brown... This isn't working. I don't know it is. I don't want like massive brown. You can see that it's brown. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh. Yeah, because it was too clean. I don't want it looking clean. So let's get some tea stainage in there. Okay, this is looking pretty cool. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing properly yeah oh i'm liking this what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to do the rest of this off camera and then as always with my diys i will show you some nice funky photos of the finished product with my um proper photography camera because we all know i love my photography so yeah i'll show you some proper pictures and then we'll talk about it at the end but this looks so cool see you soon inside i hope you like the pictures i'm really really proud of this diy look it's still a bit wet i don't know if you can see but the tea leaves are stinking <laughs> so i need to lay it flat just so it stays where it should be um matt has just seen it and he thinks it's absolutely fantastic he's really really pleased with that but he did say about on the saucer in like a permanent marker or you can get markers specifically for pot and things i'm not quite sure what you call them markers but they you know you know you know you can get them he was thinking of putting like my dear you have the grim i personally don't want to put this on my saucer because i want it to look like it's just pulled straight off the set so i'm going to keep mine as it is but it is a fantastic idea for if you want to have a go so i thought i would say it to you yeah my dear you have the grim i think it's an absolute brilliant idea it's just not what i wanted for mine if that makes any sense but yeah look guys we have a grim in our teacup i don't know why i'm so excited because that's a bad thing but yeah i'm really pleased with this oh it's been so long since i've done a diy a proper diy it's been so hectic guys with homeschooling and um, trying to run my small jewelry business um, it's been really really tough but once the kids start back at school not that i'm rushing them back i want to keep them safe 
but I'm just saying once they are back there will be plenty more DIYs coming I'm just finding it really hard plus um my place where I get my supplies is Hobbycraft now it's shut because it's a non-essential shop unfortunately um I know you can buy things online you know there's Amazon there's eBay um AliExpress you know there's there's all these different places but <sighs> I win my DIYs and I like to be able to see things in my hand, make sure things are going to work together, things like that, things like that. This was obviously an easy one though because I already had the teacup and saucer, like I said I've had it for ages. I just had to kind of figure this out and I was really nervous doing this and I don't know why, I think it's because I haven't done a DIY for so long. But I did it and I'm really, really pleased with it. I'm so, so pleased with that, it's unbelievable. Have you ever made a divination cup with the Grimmin? Have you ever done it before? If you have, send me photos on my socials. I'd like to see yours. I'd like to see what you did. I really would. If you used something different to inside a tea bag, um, let me know. I did try peppercorn. One of my Patreons mentioned peppercorn, like crushed up peppercorn. And I did do that. But um, as I was crushing it, there was white bits inside and I was like, oh, so I just thought, do you know what? Let's cut open a tea bag and let's see what it looks like inside there. And it's worked perfectly. But yeah, let me know what materials you use. Let me see pictures. You know, I want to. Are you going to have a go? Are you going to have a go at this? It was so simple and easy to do, guys. And if you do have a go, again, send me photos. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Talk to me in the comments. You know, I love it when you do. I need to create a divination place now because I do have a few divination bits. Not many. I do need to build up on my divination bits. But we're going to have to figure out and create a divination section somewhere. Not in the bedroom. We're actually going to have to move out of the... Not literally move out of the bedroom, but um, any new areas are going to have to be somewhere in the house. Luckily, Matt's not too fussed, so I can... that. I think the whole house is going to end up being like it, if I'm completely honest. Is that okay, babe? Can we have a magical house, babe? I know what Matt will say anyway. He'll say, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> So you'll probably let me do it. But anyway, I'm rambling now. I do need to make a divination area. I do need to get more divination things. Maybe I can do some more DIYs for divination. Um, one has just, an idea has just popped in my head, but we'll talk about that when I next uh, do a DIY, if it's gonna be that anyway. But yeah, I've just come up with a DIY in my head. But yeah, I'm gonna go guys. Please give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it, because it helps me more than you know. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Potter Puppets. Yeah. <sighs>